Welcome to lesson five, drawing reference structures. To make the snake head easier to locate, we will now draw these lines and these, they're really boxes, they look like planes, along the walls, like you see here. Okay, so we've got three lines and three boxes. Let's do this. Let's go down to the bottom. I've got all these functions collapsed here just because we don't care about any of them right now except for um, at, we might look at again, and then draw snake. Let me expand all this stuff here. Okay, so uh, what are we gonna need to do? We'll call a new function, and it's gonna need to know the position of the object that we're making the reference structures for and uh, the width of the object. So here's the width. I just need to move it up so it's available to the function call here. And we're gonna call this draw reference structures. And it's gonna take a, a position which is gonna be segments sub zero the head of the snake, and also this segment width. Let's create that function. We need to draw three lines. And the first thing I want to do is extract the x, y, and z values from the position to make short variables that'll look nice in these calls to the line function. So I'm going to say, this JavaScript syntax says there are three things in here. Pull them out and put them in these three new things. Now I can do and this, this is not going to make a line. This would more make a point. But if I add something to this, like say 50, and then run, we should have a little line that's 50 units wide. Uh, so I need to get the x coordinate of over here. And that's going to come from, I'm going to call it the largest coordinate value. And that's going to be the arena width over 2. And then here, instead of x plus 50, I can say L for the largest coordinate. So on the x-axis, for the, for the rightmost edge of that, uh, end of that line segment, we want to use that largest coordinate. Good, we've got that done. Uh, I think I want to do stroke green so the lines are green. Okay, there it is. And now for the other lines. Let's duplicate this to do the next one. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. For this next one, let's do Y. So the Y... Uh, this end is going to be y at its maximum value. So here, l for the largest coordinate. There, good. And for z, we could just duplicate this and move the l over to here, but that's going the wrong direction because the largest z value is up towards us. We want the smallest z value. Let's create another variable. Um, I don't mind using really short variable names if it's for a purpose like this where I'm trying to keep this code really tight and nice. Um, it's generally a bad idea to have super short variable names if they're going to be in scope for many lines of code. All right, good. Now we need to draw the, what look like little planes against the walls. And for that, we're gonna first turn off the stroke because we don't want them to have um, colored perimeters. And then we'll we use this at function here. Remember this one? You say where you wanna draw the thing. So we're gonna say at 
and we'll use x, y, z. And then what do you want to do there? Well, we're going to draw a box. And the dimensions of the box are going to be what? Well, we've got this object width thing that's passed in. So let's do this. We'll, we'll have a little W thing for this. So if I do that, and then we maybe um, just for the moment fill red. You can see where this new box is. That's great. We just need to move it over here, which means we need to change its X coordinates. So the X is not going to be this, but it's going to be what? This largest value. Okay, we've moved it over. And I'm going to let it be green again. Now it's just too, uh, it's too thick on the X axis. So here for X, let's use a new variable, flat. That's why I called it F. Um, so it should be flat now on that X dimension. Great. Let's do Y next. Duplicate the line and X, Y, Z. So we're moving down to the maximum value for the coordinate, that's L, and what do we need to do? Okay, so there's something. We're just flattening on the wrong dimension. We need to flatten on Y instead of X. So let's put the X back and we'll flatten on Y. There we go. Good. Now Z should be no problem. X, Y. Now you remember we don't use the largest, but we use the smallest. So we're going to use this S here. And then for the flattening, we need to flatten on Z. There we go. We've built our reference structures. See you in the next lesson.